Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new here, welcome. My name is Braden Timmons, and today we are talking about In a Violent Nature, which is written and directed by Chris Nash, brand new slasher that is coming out into theaters tonight. You guys will have the chance to see it in theaters if it's playing local to you, or I'm sure that it will be on Shudder probably by the end of June, because that's what you know these films have been doing is they've been dropping in theaters and then ending up on shutter or something like that a few weeks later and shutter is one of those platforms that is involved with it so that's why it doesn't surprise me but you could or you have the potential chance to see it in theaters tonight and in the film when a group of teens take a locket from a collapsed fire tower in the woods they unwittingly resurrect the rotting corpse of johnny a vengeful spirit spurred on by a horrific 60 year old crime the undead killer soon embarks on a bloody rampage to retrieve the stolen locket, slaughtering anyone who gets in his way. Now, if you take that synopsis, you probably think, wow, that sounds very much like Friday the 13th. And this movie is definitely heavily inspired by Friday the 13th. It's almost like we have a filmmaker that wants to see a new Friday the 13th movie so badly that with all of the rights issues that's been going on, he just decided, you know what, I'm going to make my own version of Jason. And I think that it works to an extent because there are definitely homages to literally a bunch of different slashers that you see specifically Jason being the big one, but you'll catch on to things that other slashers might do if you're familiar within the full slasher genre. So I think if you're a slasher fan, you're likely going to enjoy that. However, the movie does have a very unique perspective, and it's that we follow literally the character of Johnny, who is the killer, for the duration of the entire film. Everything is essentially told from his perspective, which, again, is very unique, but it's also one of the weakest elements because we don't necessarily have a whole lot of characterization to build with Johnny. And the characters in this movie are very, very bad. They just make so many stupid decisions that it will make your eyes roll, and you're just like, wow, okay, that kill was incredibly gnarly, but where's the payoff? You know what I mean? Because this film does have some pretty dang brutal kills. I'd say that there are three of them that just make my jaw go on the ground. And you're like, okay, that was cool, but where's the payoff after that? You know what I mean? There's one kill in particular that I thought was so good. At the same time, you think about it and you're just like, wait a minute, what in the world just happened? <laughs> the best way to describe this movie is like if you had a controller in your hand, it would be like you were playing a video game with the character of Johnny as he was walking through his daily routine. You basically are in this Grand Theft Auto world where he's just walking, he hears an NPC say something, and then he's walking towards that dialogue. We find the characters and he just basically waits until he can go in and make that kill it's essentially like seeing jason or michael or somebody that you know and love that we don't usually see their process go through their process and sometimes we don't have to jason we definitely see go through the process sometimes not all the time but this one I don't know. It's kind of like a double-edged sword because I do love this concept. I think that there is some here that is very well done. I think that the kills, the special effects, the sound design in the movie is absolutely fantastic. However, because we don't necessarily have a character that we care about, I feel like that's where the film kind of loses me. And the characters in this movie, like I said, they just make your eyes roll. You're like, holy shit, how can characters be so stupid? And some of the best slashers, yes, characters make stupid decisions, but at least there's likable characters and you almost care for them when the stakes get high. Here, there's nothing like that. And the last, like, ten minutes of this movie, man, it completely loses me. There's something really awesome that happens, and then it just has this very, very slow finish. Basically, the entire movie is incredibly slow. It's got some kills that are really cool in between, but then it just kind of goes back to being slow, and then there's a cool kill, and then it's back to being slow, and it finishes very slow as well. So 
With that being said, if you guys want a very slow-paced slasher, then you guys might enjoy this movie. But if you guys are looking for something that's fast-paced, that's exciting, then you're not going to find that here, unfortunately. So I recommend it to those that really love slashers that you know want to give this a go and see if this is going to be the next classic that it's being marketed to be. But if you're looking for that fast-paced and excitement, unfortunately, I'm going to recommend that you skip this one because you're probably just going to have a bad time with it anyway. So good concept i feel like if it was executed a lot better it would have been a lot better so with all that being said post your guys comments down below let me know what do you guys think of in a violent nature did you guys love it did you guys hate it or did you guys kind of find it somewhere in the middle whatever those thoughts are comment below let me know and as always if you guys like this don't forget to join me on my journey to 15,000 subscribers and i will see you guys in my next video